Leos, welcome to your 19th till 30 June general reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. For those of you that are following my channel, and I do appreciate for those of you that are, for those of you that are following my channel, you will know that I promise you a career and finance reading, but I got very, very, very sick, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that for you. Hopefully sometime in future, we can do that for you. But for now, we are looking at your past energy, your present energy, your future energy. We're going to clarify that and then we're going to end it off with a message from the universe. All right, let's get right into it, Leo. So in your recent past, look at there, we actually got a beautiful lion there as well. We've got the nine of wands, the page of wands and the knight of pentacles there in your recent past. Okay, so Leo, I remember in some previous readings that I did for you not too long ago, um, there's, there was quite a lot of conflict for a lot of you happening and I can see that you have now healed and resolved sort of like that one big issue that was really probably causing you a lot of stress and anxiety and really bringing your vibe down. So, and I mean, this isn't easy to do. This is really, really hard. This could have involved maybe a close relative. It could be a love situation, but it could be a close relative. It could be a friend. It could be that person that you thought was, you know, going to be part of your life forever, um, which can be very, very painful sometimes when we then have to move away from there. But then, then you realize that you had options, you know, then I can feel that your energy went into a different direction, went into a more positive direction, um, and you even embraced yourself. You really, I feel you, it's, it's almost like you may have found yourself in a space, in a connection, Leo, where, um, where, you know, you it's, it's almost like you were suppressed. You almost weren't allowed to think for yourself and reason for yourself. It's like a, it's like a bird being trapped in a very small cage, that sort of thing, you know? And it doesn't matter whether that's a golden cage and it's got all sorts of jewels and stuff around it and whatever, little gold trinkets and little bells and whatever, it doesn't change the fact that the bird is feeling trapped. And a lot of you were feeling horribly trapped Maybe not even realizing how trapped you felt until you started to be free, until you were able to almost think for yourself again. I see beautiful improvements that have taken place over there. Maybe some of you got a new job, you got promotions, or you actually just started to take your job seriously because you started to sort of feel like a human with actual blood flowing through your veins again. You know, um, I can see an improvement there with finances, opportunity, all of those beautiful things within confidence. Maybe some of you moved into your own space um, where you could just feel free, which is really, really great. In your current space, we got the seven of wands, the five of wands, and the world energy. All right. And the world energy is that Saturn energy. It's about restriction. It's about knowledge. It's about the things that we can no longer accept for ourselves you know like when you look at, when you speak about the serenity prayer god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference this is the wisdom about knowing the difference and knowing what it is that you just simply cannot entertain in your life any longer i see such a beautiful resurgence of a new energy in your life here my beautiful leos um, this is a time to give yourself a chance. This is a time to give yourself a chance in energy. Um, is everything hunky-dory? Not just quite yet. But there's new hope, there's new life, there's new opportunities, there's a new you, your spirit is growing, your energy is growing. Um, you're really growing into yourself and you are being noticed by people. You know, so you just keep on doing the best that you can with the knowledge that you have and the understanding that you have that at the right time, the right people will notice you, the right opportunities will come to you. But with the five of ones, some of you are still, you know, you might be feeling more empowered and, and doing so much better and all those type of things, but there's still some pain inside of you. You know, there's still some hurt inside of you. Um, maybe the other person never apologized. Maybe you left things on bad terms. But I do sense a lot of pain for many of you over here. Um, that's very difficult to deal with. And you might want to consider, um, well, this is a space where you want to go closer to source. But you might want to consider if it's very, very difficult for you to cope with things on your own. This might be a good time to get like a life coach. 
um, somebody that can really, really help you. Because no matter how strong we are and no matter what brave steps we take, sometimes we just need somebody to hold our hand while we sort of, you know, move from point A to point B. Because also very stressful for you at the moment is that there are these big changes that are taking place, huge endings. Um, and the things about huge endings is that they always, um, you know, um, they, they always go along with new beginnings. But the emotions that you're feeling at the moment can be feeling, it could be feeling, everything could be feeling very contrived for you at the moment the actual fact your life could be feeling very dystopian at the moment okay um so you might need just a little bit of help i would always say just be mindful the people that you take counsel from say maybe you decide instead of a professional you may be going to go with a friend to someone like that because sometimes what sometimes people do it deliberately sometimes they don't do it deliberately but they sort of run their own agenda you know um and something happens and they give you advice based on how they would maybe deal with the situation, which is not necessarily in your best interest. It might be perfect for them, but it might not be perfect for you. All right. Just something to bear in mind. Heading forward, we have got the Tower, um, the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Now, the moment people normally see the Tower, they go like, oh, my goodness how bad are things going to get, all right? And the Tower is that Mars energy, it's that aggression energy. Um, it is that um, um, survival sort of energy, all right? So remember, there's a lot of cycles that are coming to an end, a lot of them. A lot of your wishes are coming true, and a lot of your wishes that can't think just, can't think just be different. So the tower, tower energy, it's really, it's a big clearing up. That's really what it is. And you might be very well advised to take a look. There is a link down below in the description that says free natal chart. Do that and see what is the placement of your Mars. Because the placement of your Mars, um, it really gives you guidance because it's how you deal with conflict and opposition and oppression and, you know, feeling depressed and feeling down. How do you move through difficult things? What is the formula for you? Your Mars tells you that. Okay, because there is a big cleanup that's taking place in energy. Yes, it's a transformation, but no, it's not always pleasant. However, it brings you clarity of thought. I also feel that it's quite a fast period that's taking place there for you. And with Knight of Wands, you're getting in a space where you can actually move forward. All right. Um, you may not have realized how much this past situation have impacted you, but you've taken that big first step, that brave step, and that was 98% of the work done, even though it might not feel that way. All right, let's clarify. So we're clarifying that Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles were in your recent past. Okay, let's see what we've got for Leo, please. So you've got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So you were following your intuition, you were following your guidance, um, you were, you know, you were fed up, you were tired, you just couldn't anymore. And I feel that for many of you, and this is what happens sometimes, maybe you got yourself into a connection, into a space, into a situation where you yourself were a bit of a broken person. You know, and obviously broken people attract broken people because like energy attracts like energy. And then it's so easy that we sometimes want to blame other people, you know, when we begin to change. But it's just that our energy has now changed and theirs maybe still remain the same, you know. Um, but I feel what I like is that I see that you stepped away with peace. You released with peace, you know. You, you, and, and for a lot of you, I can feel that you stuck it out for the longest time. You, you maybe wanted to see if there was a different way, a way that is maybe a better way, an all-serving way. But then for what it is that you want your personal life to be, what you want your family life to be, the kind of environment that you want to wake up in, go sleep in, find yourself in when you're on holiday, even when you are down and that sort of thing, I feel that you became very clear about what it is that you wanted to have, even with this Knight of Pentacles there in your recent past. And so because you became very clear about what it is that you want to have, the choices that you had to take, the route that you had to take, became very clear to you. Okay. Let's clarify your current space. So we're clarifying the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the World. And for that, we've got the Fool, 
we've got the Queen of Wands and we've got the Knight of Wands. And it's also quite interesting because you will see that as you go forward, there's that Knight of Wands energy as well. So you are systematically step by step in a very healthy way, even though for some of you it may not feel that way, you are in a healthy way moving forward. All right. The Fool is that Uranus energy is about change, it's about rebellion, it's about new things, it's about aligning, it's about resetting basically to um, your life plan, the reason why as a soul you initially decided to do this human thing. So there's that reset that's taking place for you at the moment. But the thing to remember and is that sometimes we want things to happen so very fast for us. But the thing to remember is that let's say you're 35 years old, you know, and it might have taken you 35 years um, whatever from your upbringing, from your parents, from and so forth and so forth, you know, all those influences from your childhood to get to where you are. And when you suddenly go and change just like that, you overwhelm the mind and then it automatically goes back to the previous um, sort of way that you were. So, um, beautiful Leos, be patient with yourself, be kind with yourself, have compassion with yourself, okay? Um, there is a change taking place here as you embrace more positive thoughts as you're more kind to yourself life begins to change you know sometimes we're looking for love we're looking for somebody to be kind to yourself but to us but be kind to yourself say to yourself you know what little beautiful Leo um, I've taken this step and give yourself praise for that now I still need to take the next step but maybe I just need to take a little bit of a break before I take the next one. It's the words, the words of encouragement and motivation and inspiration that you give to other people when you want them to do well. It's time for you to give those words to yourself. All right. Um, because the your emotions are changing. And remember, the positive emotions that you give out um, is bringing the positive into your life. And I can see you doing a lot of positive. I just want to draw a card for this five of ones, because this five of ones is concerning me a little bit, here, especially since it's slapping in the middle of your readings. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are feeling that you are not yet deserving of the good things in life. There's financial breakthroughs possible here. There's life breakthroughs, materialistic breakthroughs. There's a lot of beautiful breakthroughs possible here that can catapult you forward so positively. But for some of you, you have got a deeper belief within your subconscious that you are not good enough, that you are not worthy enough. You want to work on that. So I really strongly suggest you considering working with someone that can assist you with that. Okay, let's look at your energy going forward. Um, these two cards just fell out, so I'm going to draw another one. So we are clarifying the Tower, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. The two cards that just fell out was the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay? Going forward. Now, when things get tough, do your best to not talk yourself out of a good thing. You might be very well advised where you are at the moment to set a list for your positive goals. What is it that I would really like to have in my life? Really, really, what is the goal, you know? And don't allow yourself to dream small. Dream as big as you want to, but also dream realistic in the sense of what you do believe that you can achieve, all right? Because it's only what you can really buy into that you can have. But be very careful going forward of self-sabotage coming back over here, um, you know, when the tower moments start to hit. Be very careful of... Um, because I can see here with the Five of Wands, which is the other card that I've drawn for you, there is a possibility going forward when things are not going well that there's a little voice in your head that says, you see, you see, you see, you thought you could win, you thought you were so clever, you thought that you had it all together, now look at your suffering. Maybe you're not that clever after all. You know, maybe you should just go back to where you came from. You can even believe that maybe that um, what you left behind, that you're having trouble now as a result of that, because this is your bad karma. All right. But remember, when we go into when going to that next level of life, we need to do that clean up, that wash out, that inner sort of spiritual um, spring cleaning of the things that are holding us back. All right. And so again, I would want to recommend that you're open to the idea of working with someone. Um, a very good thing to look at is maybe the teachings of Abram. There's a lot of those online. When you do follow the teachings of Abram, you just want to be very, very um, mindful of not losing your compassion. 
because that's something that can happen. Um, but be open to the idea of working with someone. Um, be very mindful of that past creeping back because I see you doing well, but I see the possibility of the past creeping back. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Leo. I hope that it helps. But let's first get you a message from the universe as well. If that resonates with you, if you're open to help with that, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath, claim that for yourself. If the reading resonates with you, I'd really appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Let's see what the universe has got for you, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Two of Swords. Death card and the Page of Pentacles. I say one more. I'm just going to take one from the top. And you've got the Four of Pentacles. So let's go with these two first. Some of you are feeling lost in the dark like Bambi in the headlights. And you know what? Sometimes in life, we look for solutions so much. But when you stop and breathe and take stock of where you are, you see how far you've actually come. And it might be good for you to do that because you may not be exactly where you want to be, but I can see that you're on a very positive streak, all right? Heading in a very positive direction. You've got the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. The universe want to let you know that you might have some ideas for things that you want to do going forward in your life. And the universe want to let you know that all of those dreams are possible. Okay, the thing that you want to focus on is getting a balance, Leo, between the heart and the mind. All right, that's what you want to focus on. Okay, so that's what I got for you. I hope that it helps. If any of you are open to a personal reading, the details are down below in the description. There's also a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my free oracle card reading course. There's details on how to book an online regression hypnosis session for yourself, which some people call past life regression. All of that down below. For now, from my heart, namaste, love and light, and I'll see you next time.